Okay, so just a standard tuning here, E, A, D, G, B, E. And we can start with this initial uh, little piano riff. And we're going to be in this minor shape down here on the E, B, and G string. And we're going to start with a 6, B, then go 7, G, 5, E. And we're just going to kind of keep that shape for most of this and just maybe move a thing or two around it. All right, so we go 6, B, 7, G, 5, E. Okay, do the 6B, 7G, bring the pinky over and make the 8B. Okay, back to the 6B, 7G, 5E. All right, now we kind of do this little move here where we take our index and we go 6 back to the 5 and then hit that 8 with the pinky on the B. So slowly. And as far as uh, once like the the heavy guitar riff comes in, um, we start with just power chord shapes. So start with the D power chord, 5A, 7 on the D and G. Okay, bring it up a set to the A. So we got 5E, 7 on the A and D. Bump that up a fret. So we got the A sharp or B flat here at the 6E, 8 on the A and D. And we kind of hold that for a little bit longer. And then the second half of it, we go drop down to the G power chord, 3E, 5 on the A and D. Drop that two frets at the F for the 1E, 3 on the A and D. And then zoom it back up here to the, the B flat or A sharp at the E, uh, 6, and the 8A, 8D. 8 and then after we hit that, we'll hold that for just a moment. And just before we're about ready to start that last beat, we drop down and hit a C power chord at the 3A5 on the D and G. It's just a little kind of like pickup chord into starting the whole thing back over. All right. And uh, if we kind of want to like clean it up and get a little bit more of like what the, the piano at the end does, um, do more just kind of like cleaner, like full chords of it. Um, I guess if you wanted to do this on like acoustic, it'd probably sound cool with that. Uh, we start here, um, instead of power chords, we'll just do like a straight up like D minor chord. So the same power chord shape we had, the 5A, 7D, and G, but now we add that 6B and 5E with it. Okay, take that up a set, bar all the fives, do the seven on the A and D for the A minor. Kick that up a fret, add that uh, seven on the G now. We're barring all the sixes, got the eight on the A and D for the B flat A sharp chord. All right. And then when we drop down to our G here, we do a G minor. So bar all the threes, go five on the A and D. And we'll kick down a couple frets to the F. It's just a straight up F major. So bar all the ones, got the three on the A and D, two on the G. And then back it up to the B flat, barring the sixes, 8A, 8D, 7G. 